Welcome to the fourth annual Orcas Island Trail Camp. It has become a tradition for Kim and I to attend. It's a great start to the running season here in the Northwest, getting to go to a really beautiful location, shut off the cell phones, eat delicious food, surround yourself with amazing runners, and get some incredible trail runs in the process. So that was actually the last time that we saw people. That was March 1st, 2020 at the Orcas Island Trail Camp. It was a long time ago. And man, things changed quickly in the days right after that video. Uh, life changed. It's almost like every day of 2020 became more and more historically important. On a personal level, looking back and reflecting on the last year, I was in a really rough place. And like many of you, I was having a really difficult time finding that path forward. Looking back at that video and, and seeing the groups of people, it's an amazing reminder at how much people and community and belonging mean to us as humans. In 2020, I created when I could. I ran when my body allowed, but all of my outward energy seemed to want to collapse in on itself. I floated day by day, week by week, month by month, unclear and foggy. But we found the light, a small ember that grew into a fire that helped fuel us. And that's the GR crew, the community, the people that support all of this became our second family when we couldn't even see our own. From our 200 plus daily brew live streams to our fantastic GRGR that supported local artists, a record participant gingermas, weekly GR crew, trivia nights, book clubs, Zoom calls, all of it. All of it showed us what we're capable of when we bring people from around the world together even when we're apart. It's the same community that despite having a less than stellar training year with a lot of my energy uh, focused on my mental health more than my physical health, it is they that inspired me to take on what has, I'm assuming, become my annual tradition, the 100 mile training. It's Monday, December 14th, 2020, the start of what is to be the darkest and wettest week. I might be under train, but I am so eager to put this year behind me uh, by tackling what has become one of my favorite personal feats. Seven days, 100 miles, it all begins now. Here I am, day one of what I'm hoping is gonna be my second 100 mile week. Last year sort of started the tradition. It was more difficult than I anticipated in some ways, but it also was totally doable. This year, I'm coming into it under-trained, <laughs> overworked, exhausted. Obviously, everyone's been dealing with a lot of shit this year, so completing a 100-mile week has really been uh, low on my priority list. But I also think it's a pretty good thing for me to have this little goal at the end of the year here. The way this week is going to play out is going to be pretty similar to last year. My base mileage is nowhere close to what it was in 2019. Monday, it's going to be a 10 and a 5. Tuesday will be 10 miles, 5 miles. Wednesday will be 10 miles. Thursday, 15 miles can probably be a 10 and a 5. Friday, 8 miles. Saturday will be a 20 miler. And Sunday will be a 10 and a 7. 17 miler. Whole week, 100 miles. Things I am going to focus on this week. Sleep, eating, resting, not letting this week stress me out. Things I'm not going to worry about this week. Pace, pace, and pace. Uh, I don't care how long this takes me. I could go out and walk 10, 15 miles. I don't care. Um, the goal is just get it done. I'm excited. I'm also procrastinating right now. So let's go get my 10 miles and have some fun. It's time to start the 100 mile week for 2020. Let's go. You know, the benefit and the curse of having done this last year is that I know what to expect and I know what to expect. Looking down the barrel of a 100 mile week is daunting, especially when you don't do them very often uh, or at all. So I keep having to remind myself today to just take it one day, one mile at a time. I mean, if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that you gotta be patient and you gotta take it one day at a time. 100 mile week, no different. And uh, this week was supposed to have terrible weather. I don't know why I picked it. <laughs> supposed to be rainy, stormy. Today's actually looking pretty good. I stayed dry, obviously it's still early, but so far so good, it's beautiful.
that's it, 10 miles. Run number one is done, which means it's time for run number two. So uh, it's a short one, about five miles, but that's 15 on the day. And uh, let's wrap up day one. Here we go. complete. That's it for five miles, 15 on the day, 15% done with this thing. I have to say, I think the double days are the secret. That's the sauce right there. I actually feel really good about it now. Uh, earlier today, I, I didn't feel so great about this week. Looks like we have a week full of crappy weather, and of course the sun sets super early and rises super late, so I'm not gonna have a ton of daylight to work with. Uh, regardless, I'm excited to take this week on. Day one is done. We'll see you for day two. All right, time for some food and some sleep. Happy day number two, uh, run number one. We got 10 miles on the docket today. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. I actually came back to the same place I ran yesterday. I, I don't have a lot of time today. I don't know why I chose to do the 100 mile week the same week as our Ginger Miss event. We just have very little free time and when you run a 100 mile week at the pace that I'm running it, uh, you need all the time you can get. That by far is the biggest challenge I remember from doing a 100 mile week last year is just how to divide the time throughout the week. Because when you're as fast or as not fast as me, you end up spending a lot of time running. So you really have to schedule your days in advance. And uh, today was like the worst day to try to get a run in. I'm very thankful for Kim for uh, taking over the ginger miss tabulation of results today uh, while I get in 90 minute run. Speaking of which, it's cold, it's a little bit rainy. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Normally Mount Rainier is right there, but today is a little dicey. This is a classic Pacific Northwest day. A little windy, a little rainy, cold, delightful. Halfway through, almost done. So far this run's been fine. I feel like my mind is already in a dark place. I've just been so busy this week with ginger mist. My brain is going, feel how tired you are? Feel how slow you're going? Oh man, it's just so much like negativity. I'm having to really consciously turn it off. So at this point I have a mile left and know I'm gonna get it done. It just sucks to be here on Tuesday. But lack of sleep, being super busy with ginger mist stuff, all the stress, it's gonna happen. Let's wrap it up. So of course, no sooner when I pull out the camera and have a little ginger pity party and complain about being tired or not moving fast, I just logged the fastest mile of the day and I'm done. <laughs> if anything, that just indicates this is gonna be an interesting week, successful or not, it'll certainly be fun. And that's why I'm bringing you along for the ride. All right, that's it for run number one. Run number two on the day, quick five miler, get this thing done get home, get some dinner, relax, kick my feet up, have a beer, maybe some dessert, maybe some spaghetti. I'm hungry. Let's go. Is it five miles done 15 on the day 30 miles on the week that means i'm 30 percent done with this thing sorry for blinding you i'm gonna be a slug for the next five days but who cares let's just get 100 miles this week no matter how fast no matter what it takes just get done okay that's it we'll see you tomorrow for more running
Day number three. It's dark, it's rainy, it's windy, it's wet. All the weather that we didn't get last year, apparently we're gonna get this year. So just gotta put on the rain jacket, buckle down, get the miles done. Body's moving slow today. I don't care. It's all part of the process. Gonna be out here for a couple hours, but I'm excited to finally hit some trail. Last couple days of road runs have uh, taken their toll. So let's get some muddy, sloppy, single track running in. 10 miles begins now. Got dark pretty quickly here in the woods. Brought out the lights. Shining my lumens all over the place. A uh, little over halfway. Feeling pretty spry, which is good. And a bit of a change from yesterday. It is cold and rainy. Got the gear to keep me warm and dry. Just a couple miles left. And that's a wrap on Wednesday. Let's finish this thing. Woo! -hoo. It's so rainy. It's so wet. All right, that's it. Just finished up 10 miles. It is still pouring rain. I'm actually pretty cold right now and wet, uh, but it was worth it to get it done. What's crazy is it feels like it's in the middle of the night right now, but it's technically 4.50 p.m. It sure does get dark here in the Northwest, especially this time of year. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for Wednesday. With a snap of a finger, it's Thursday. Day four of the 100 mile week, and I'm pretty tired. Uh, actually, I woke up today thinking like, I got eight miles today, short run, should be fun. Turns out I have 15. It is not raining, it's still pretty cold. I'm ready to get going. Let's do this. Day four begins now. So I just hit five miles on this run, about a third of the way through the day. And this is kind of a special milestone. So right now I have 45 miles on the week, four days in, and that is now my biggest running mileage week of 2020. For quite obvious reasons throughout the year, I just haven't had the volume. I just haven't had the base miles, everything from pandemic to anxiety, to workload, work stress, family stuff. Running has sort of taken a backseat a lot of the time. Looking back, I'm really proud that I was even able to maintain a 30 to 40 mile per week base. But this has been by far my lowest mileage year in uh, probably close to a decade. Here's the thing, I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that. This year sucked. This year straight up sucked for so many people. So I'm taking the good where I can get it. And right now, four days into this week, I have my biggest running mileage week of 2020. <laughs> and we're not even halfway done with the week. So I'm proud, I'm happy, I'm terrified of the next three and a half days. But my mantra with this week has been one step at a time, one mile at a time, one day at a time. So every step forward from here on out continues to add to my biggest mileage week of the year. And for that, I am proud. Now let's get back to it, let's wrap up this run. It's getting a little dark, getting chilly, getting spoopy. Crank the music, future me, and let's get back to running. Okay, about 12 and a half miles in. We only got about two and a half miles left. Still moving pretty good. 
took it out to the neighborhood, so I'm just running through the neighborhood streets now, but I'm gonna finish up strong, and that'll be a wrap on day four. Let's do it. All right, that is it. 15 miles on the day. That's a wrap on Thursday. We're at 55 miles, 55% done with the week. Pretty dang awesome. I'm glad I got it all done at once. Uh, Kim is waiting for me in this parking lot. And that's it for Thursday. Hi, babe. Kim is obviously a big part of what makes this week work from feeding me, making sure I get my sleep, uh, washing my clothes. Today, she convinced me to just get it done. And I wouldn't have gotten it done had she not just said, get it done. So thanks, babe. Good job. All right, we'll see you uh, tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow is Friday, yeah. Tomorrow is Friday. Got an eight miler on the day. Right now, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Happy Friday, everybody. Only have eight miles to get done today. Decided to come back to the trails. I feel like it's beating me up less physically coming out to the dirt. In classic me fashion, uh, I only have a certain amount of time of daylight and very little, if any, battery left in my headlamp from yesterday. So I'm gonna try to race the sunset today. Try to get it done before it gets dark. Without further ado, let's do this. Kind of a quick day, but I'll be honest, the fatigue is setting in. I, I absolutely feel it. Running even at an easy pace is just like work. You know, I kind of remember this from last year, happening right around day five. I'm not gonna chalk it up to anything other than just fatigue. I'll finish it off, just keep it easy, keep it mellow. Got a lot of running left in the next two days. No reason to overdo it. <sighs> friends is it just hit eight miles the fatigue hit hard today about halfway through so yeah there it is watch just clicked over i did not do what i wanted to do which was beat the sunset uh, there's a little bit of light in the sky but obviously i had to use my headlamp for some of that yeah this week caught up to me on today's run uh better today than tomorrow so hopefully i got 24 hours to recoup get some sleep get lots of food relax, and then uh, back out here on the trails tomorrow for 20. Two more days. Oh, man. What am I thinking? <laughs> What's the point? All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Happy Saturday, everybody. Long run Saturday. 20 miles on the schedule today. The clouds decided to open up. It's probably one of the worst weather days this week. At this point, uh, lots of rain. It's going to be sloppy getting an early start, so I hope to be finished before sunset. That's my goal today. While I didn't achieve that goal yesterday, today I hope to actually get it done. Uh, so I'm gonna take it nice and easy. Got my route picked out. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be sloppy, it's gonna be fun. Fun. Let's get this done. Got a little stormy out. Hood has to come up. It's sloppy. Way. Just over 10 miles done. Less than that left. Uh, I'm still actually feeling pretty strong today. The rain is holding off for now. 
So not only is this my longest run of the week, I'm gonna admit something. It's actually my longest run of the year. This year has just been an, a, a mess, physically with injuries and mentally with anxiety and everything with the pandemic. So today is my longest run of 2020. This week is my biggest week of 2020. With just around nine miles left, I'm pretty dang happy. So I also think we have enough daylight to get this done, which makes me doubly happy. Not finishing in the dark, come on. There is something to be said about that. All right, calories, running, almost done. Here we go. All right, just a little over three miles left. Getting it done, slowly and surely. Legs are feeling pretty beat up. Ready to be home, ready to be warm. <laughs> Half mile left. I wanted to beat darkness. It's, I mean, it's dark, but I don't need a headlamp yet. Getting close. Pretty awesome. Let's finish it up. Twenty miles. No headlamp needed. Goal accomplished. Oh man. So I'm back in the car. Uh, it's much warmer in here. I changed my clothes. Got out of the wet ones. Uh, I can't wait to get home and just lay down and relax. It's 83 miles on the week six days only 17 miles left that's really where my respect goes is to athletes and people who do 100 mile weeks on the regular this is what i learned last year and what i'm learning again this year is that it is a big sacrifice it's a social sacrifice a tam time sacrifice you have to put a lot on hold to be able to get all those miles in fast or slow you know as a mid packer it's a really big time commitment my hat tip my thumbs up my wink of an eye to those who do this on the regular just major respect and props because it's a it's a big thing it's a big thing. I gotta get home. I miss my family. I miss hot food. I miss warmth. And I'm pretty sure this camera's fogging over. I don't, I don't know. Let's go home. Last day, Sunday, day seven, 17 miles. That's all that keeps me from the finish line. 17 miles. And I got a little partner in crime out here today. Hi, you got this. Tired, sore. Totally knew this was coming. The last day is always just that toughest grind. A couple hours out there running, 17 miles. We got this. Today, this is for you, Tommy. Got your hat on. Uh, we're gonna finish this up. Okay, 100 mile week. I'm coming for you. Yay! <laughs> All set. Got a little warm, surprisingly. Just glad it's not raining like it was yesterday. It's flat enough for us to be running. So I was just kind of chugging along there, feeling sorry for myself, having a little pity party. My watch beeped, and we just hit seven miles, which means we now have 9.9 .9 miles left and it clicked that I really don't have anything to complain about. I can't stop thinking about Tommy and uh, just knowing how much he's going through and me complaining about running on beautiful trails on a beautiful day. I have nothing to complain about, nothing. So I'm gonna enjoy these last 9.9 .9 miles with all my heart and all my legs and all my muscles and every little ache and pain. I'm gonna embrace it all because after an absolutely shitty year, we're gonna go out with a bang here, and uh, this smile I'm gonna keep permanent. Just a few minutes, a few moments, a few miles left. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. Here we go. One mile left, one mile. In a year just lacking any sort of personal confidence in my physical abilities. I can't believe I'm about to finish a 100 mile week. 
Because this week has shown me that it's always just been about putting one foot in front of the other and one more mile, one more day, one more week. So we're gonna wrap this thing up and I'm really happy about it. Mile 99, let's get to mile 100. That's a hundred right there. That's a hundred. 17 miles, 100 miles on the week. I'm so happy. Can't believe I got to hundred miles again. And uh, Kim was there the whole time helping me get, to, get it done. I honestly didn't know if this year would happen or if I'd even have the ability to start the week. It's because of support from Kim and my coach, David Roach and uh, GR crew. It's because of all of you guys that we were able to do this and uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. 100 mile week. So thanks everybody. I love you. Love you. Good job. 100 miles. Done for the week. Not for another year. At least. Yeah! Yeah! I will always remember 2020 for the way it forced us to adapt, come together in new ways, and to support one another in our unique journeys. At the end of the seven days, I ran 100 miles in a cumulative time an hour faster than my 100 mile week in 2019. If there's a cliche lesson from this experience that we can apply to 2021, it's that by placing one foot in front of the other, mile by mile, day by day, we can accomplish anything. Here's to a brand new year. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot better.